previously on the Benson and Bailey Show. Hello, we're the doorman. the one we needed. We need to find a way around somewhere. Can I go under this? Oh, that looks like the right way. I even thought it was. Looks like there's something through there. Yeah. That's a skull. I've only really just noticed that. Good. Maybe I am meant to go this way? No, that's an absolute wall. Well, the only other thing is that. Thing I can think is I have to. There's another skull. There's lots of skulls. Oh yeah. Didn't really notice that till now. Can't get up there. Oh, 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 oh. Skyrim it. Come on. Ah, fuck. Well, the only way I can go is this way. That is the situation. Okay. I was meant to go that way. Right. It's within my reach, wherever it is. When you run for too long, your character will get tired soon and will need more time to recover. I know. The run through the forest proved that to me. So this should reset me at the note I just picked up. Yes. That is where I am. So that... I can't go back the way I came, because that was a collapsed bridge. So, there has to be something somewhere I can go. Something somewhere I can go. Somewhere... Wait, what? I think I'm meant to go up there. There goes that brainwave. Was there another bit of walking section I could have gone through in here? No. Nope. Walk up this. I think I can't fit through here. God damn it! B! It was the button I needed. I just forgot the crouch button, that was all. All the skulls, very reassuring. Totem pole. Hello! Oh! Oh! Fuck, was 
that noise? Read the thing. Whoever you are, if you are reading these words, I beg of you, help us. We are in a place they call Post Office Box 5. I don't know where this is. I don't even know what year it is. They are not allowing anyone from the outside to have contact with us. They lock us up in cells, four in each. I saw dozens of cells like that. They talk about something they called Anomaly 7. Every day we undergo tests, research, tortures. I have seen how they kill people. I have seen terrible things. Terrible things! Write about it. Let the world know. They Can conduct the, the worst way? experiments possible. They have something that we call the fear chamber. There is no <laughs> way to say what will happen to the person that ends up there. Some come back, but are no longer themselves. They are absent. Others are dragged out dead. Only few stay sane. I have seen a bright orange light which spoke to me in demonic voices and showed me things worse than any nightmare you can possibly dream. Sometimes people come out of there with broken bones, mutilated, crushed, irradiated, dismembered. I can't take it in anymore. Take away these images. There is a scientist amongst us. He said that during their sick experiments, they discovered something out of this world. They are trying to test it. The truth is that it is testing them. He told us that there are more places like this around the world, and there will come a day the gates of hell will open. You have to stop this. Destroy it. Destroy us. Kill us all. The center is governed by something that is called the Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomena. I have seen this on an ID card of the man that was interrogating me. He said we were prisoners, convicts, murderers, rapists, thieves. But that is not true. I have done nothing wrong. I hate them all. They call us subjects. No names, but subjects. I am Subject 73. I don't even remember my real name. I beg of you, please help us. Burn it all to the ground. If only this letter reached beyond the walls of the center. If only the guard who promised to take it has kept her promise. You have to do something. I swear by all that one holds sacred, you have to. My only cellmate, Anton, whispers in my ear that everything is going to be fine. That the orange light is singing in the voices of hundreds of angel choirs. Anton promised me that if I listen carefully to the singing, he will free me. Sometimes, however, I think that all of this does not exist. There is no prison. There are no bars. There are no doctors. There is no Anton. There's only this frightening, piercing orange light. So I still haven't figured out how to scroll down, so... We are sitting in room... Whoever you are, if you are reading these words, I beg of you, help us. Well, I hope you... It's controlling the camera. Place on the right, we're going that way. Loading me into this. Right, carry on. Right, so, wow, that's 
I wasn't meant to do all that. Jesus. Ooh, I wasn't... That's me not going quick enough, I think. Should have kept sprinting. Which is not what the tooltip is telling me to do, but... Got to leg it, but leg it quicker. But also not too slowly. But also make sure you have a rest. One more attempt before I look at the guide on how to do it. Yes! Scary! Running, 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 running! running. Territory now. Am I free? Am I safe? Saving game. Oh, that I don't like that. Safe spots. Oh, stop. stop making scary noises at me. shining in the sky. Is that bloody Jotun or something? That's the centre of the map. Which is making me think I should have fast moved. A few moments later. Right, I've reloaded. Back to the campsite I just was at. And just in case that's the end of the game, I think it's that that the light is on. So I'm going to fast travel to the centre of the map. That answers that question see what's going to happen here if I have to do any more uh -oh. my pages no I worked so hard to find all them my face what is that the end of the game? <gasps> you what? And so we have reached the end. Have you understood your role in my plan? No. There are no random victims, and nobody is completely innocent. You may not agree, but when the gates to Section Twenty Two open and the world will see me true madness, you will understand that everything that I have done. Was necessary. Hello? Trees? People? Hmm. It's not what I was expecting. 
expecting. I'm not gonna lie. I know there was more collectibles to find. Come on, Sean. Fuck it, I'm running. <laughs> Hi. Missed the entrance. Final jump scare. <laughs> was I the inc I'm the incident? I was the murderer all the hello. Woof. Oh that one's out of all the Fright Nights games I've finished so far, which includes three, actually four. Faith that you are safe. Um, that is definitely the most the tense I've been star, you said in uh, all of them. The bright warm light will bring you home. Did you lie? That'd be for the music. The day is dark. Sean Bean, there he is. What a man. If what you a are there, just let me know. I, this is a very good horror game. Just let me know. As I said, there's so many more extras I could have found that I just didn't. Uh, because I don't want to. Because I was scared. But this is the tension, the dread. Oh, it's what I love in horror games, and I fucking hate it. When the ashes arise, the light shall fall. Will you find me? Will you find me? When the sky is dead. There was a bit more. Um, well, actually. I'm going to wait till the credits finish before I carry on. Hey guys, there's no post credit scene, so I'll carry on my point I was making. I was going to say how th the map makes it look bigger than it actually was, now I think about it. All them roads on the map look so long, but I was covering the distance quite quickly, actually. So it's a bit deceptive, but in the good way. Music, good. Voice acting, very good. Sean Bean. Sean Bean is just... He's such a man. Uh, Storyline? Still... Hmm. I still don't really know the plot, to be honest. Is it implying that I was the Dyatlov Pass incident all along? I don't know. The mystery has not been solved today, and may yet never be solved. May yet be solved, and may never be solved. That makes more sense. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you around. I've been Benson, and this has been The Benson Bailey Show.